antique agenda. I have brought you back to the Mile High Thrift Store because thrifting is on the agenda today. And come along with me and let's see if we can find any goodies to bring to you Etsy or a live sale. So let's go. All right, so it's not a special discount day, uh, but that's all right. Sometimes uh, these off days, you can find some really good items and the prices are always pretty good. So as I grab my cart, we are going to head on over to the bags. The music is extra loud today, unfortunately, so hopefully my phone is able to filter out the noise. Okay, first thing I see are some cute figurines. These are $3.99 for a little boy and girl and a Santa. Um, let's look at these little elephants. These are $2.99. And these look like possibly Inesco or Home Co. Let's see, Home Co. Okay, so they're not salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to think about these for $3 for the pair. Uh, I do like the little etched brass vases. This pair is $5.99. I don't see anything in the Christmas bags so far. Um, if I needed some speckled eggs, this would be a good bag. Look at all the speckled eggs you get for $2.99. You get that box and all of those. Hmm, it's kind of tempting, but I really don't need them. Oh, I see what looks like a dragon. Let's look at this. Let's look at this guy. Okay, so I see a um, newer cloisonne egg and what looks like a little dragon salt and pepper but just alone oh I bet he's he's supposed to be a hugger so he's missing his buddy shoot that would have been good for two dollars Oh, I see the Raggedy Ann and Andy, but I'm I'm much more interested in the dragon, the dragon there. Oh well, put him back. These look promising too. So these look like a cute set of salt and peppers. And let's see if we can check out the chicks there. They're a little crudely painted, but not horrible. Okay, so I was able to get the chicks to stand up. And um, unfortunately, because of the crude painting, it's not chipped, but the way the beak on this chick is uh, painted, it looks like a chip. And so I, I just don't like the, the visual effect of how they painted the beak. So even though it's $2 and it's cute and it's Japan, I'm, I'm still gonna pass and I'm putting this one back too. Okay, I really am gonna be fighting the music today. This is $8, uh, a very small little vase, but it's very nice and it is California pottery. And that says, I can't read it, but it's definitely uh, a piece of California pottery, probably from the 40s or 50s so I might consider that for eight dollars okay never mind never mind the beak has a little chip right there on the tip so we're gonna put that back and we're gonna peek at the glass this little vase that looks nice it is Krosno Poland um, $1.99. I don't know, guys. You tell me. Is this good glass? I will look that up. And I like the look of this. It's very clear. Very pretty shape. Oh, I really like that. But I'm not shopping for me. Oh, here we go. Look at this little sweet little opalescent hobnail vase oh i think that's really darling i'm gonna put that and think about that well, a lot of precious moments 
someone's collection got donated. Look at this, look at all of these. I think these are gonna come back around with the uh, Cottage Core Millennial Tribe. What is this? Look at this one. This looks like it could have been a mayonnaise bowl, but it's really pretty. I loved the etched edging on this. So pretty. Oh no, Tina Turner, you're too loud. Little bird teapot. This is Otagiri. And little bird teapot. Unfortunately, there is a chip on the spout, but it's only $4. So that would have been a great little pickup for the Otagiri teapot if not for that damage there. Oh, let's just check and see if this is old ironstone or not. It is unmarked. I might have to go back around to the bags and take another look-see. I think I might put these elephants back. Yeah, I think I've decided to put the little elephants back, uh, even though $3 is great. I'm not sure they would be smart. I'm gonna put them back. I'm gonna put them back just because I'm not confident. And sometimes I do that. All right, we have a winner. $3 for the mini glass tree. Um, these are usually made by Sylvestri and very collectible. So that is a win right there. So this little Krosno Poland vase is very pretty, uh, but it is a Target. Uh, merchandise piece. So uh, obviously exported and distributed through the Target home stores. So not too special and we are going to put this back on the shelf. This is a pretty nice uh, brass trimmed trunk and it is $44 and green is 25% off today so that would be a good deal if you needed uh, a heavier more industrial trunk, that would be good. But it is not on my agenda, so I'm not picking it up. But it is pretty cool. The hinges on the back, those look good. And when you see a good leather strap like this, uh, definitely indicative of age. So it's a good piece. Don't talk yourself into it, Heather. Don't talk yourself into it. And so now I'm approaching the frames and the art. Every once in a while, I find a good piece in here. This is just a lightweight plastic, $2.99 Sirocco. Do we want a Sirocco? I don't know. I don't think so. These are 10 bucks a piece, and there's two in here that I'm not gonna pop on them, even though they are great. Okay, I'm standing here in front of the candles and candle holders, and I see him. He is $2.99. He's modern, but he's adorable. I say yes. What do you guys say? Yes, Heather, bring it home. We want it. <laughs> right above the uh, drapes, curtains area, they always have this spot where sometimes they have handmade. And look, look at this. Look at this guy. Someone handmade this clown. I know it's not to everybody's taste. And quite frankly, he's not really mine either, but I appreciate these. I appreciate a good clown. Now Perot, Perot is different. Perot is my taste. Ah, I think this is one of those squishy mallow guys. Is it? What does it say? Yes, it's a squish mallow. And you all are gonna wanna know. So this is $9.99 for this squish mallow. 10 bucks for him. Oh, and the clown, how much was the clown? I don't see a tag on the clown, so I can't tell you how much he was. Might have been removed or maybe overlooked, I don't know. All right. This guy looks like a Steinbach nutcracker. 
It is $2.99. And bingo. Look at the stamp. So this is a great, great collectible wooden German nutcracker. Very well made, wonderful name in nutcrackers. So I am definitely going to pick him up. So now our haul is nutcracker, Christmas tree, and mouse candle holder. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go through my haul fairly quickly because I showed you everything in the cart that I ended up taking home. Uh, you saw the awesome Steinbach Nutcracker for $3. And I did find another one um, exactly the same listed on Etsy for around 90. Uh, so this is something that either I will list as well or save for a live sale. And then you saw the green and clear glass Christmas tree. Um, this is probably Sylvester. Uh, still left the tag on that one, $2.99, so great price for that. And then finally, the little <laughs> chamber stick holder. So I love how charming this is. If you love English cottage, cottage core decor, how adorable just to have this sitting on top of a stack of books. It works great with a shorter candle, or if you wanted to, you could put um, incense cones right in there. That would be adorable too. So couldn't pass him up. I love this little mouse. And then I did stop by an estate sale. So I do have some items to tack on to the haul. And it wasn't very fruitful. I only got a couple things. Uh, first item is for me. Uh, I have a small Nutcracker and Pinocchio tree. So when I saw these, I knew I would pick those up for myself. So that was nice. And then I also found this vintage children's paint set. And I thought it was great with the children in native dress around the world. And you can see that it has great colors still left in it, wonderful for display for crafters, artists, or a children's room. So this was a great pickup at $2. And then I picked up this little clock at one of my last sales, one of the chatters. I think it was you, Heidi. I think you requested that I bring more clocks. So I have had my eye out. And when I saw this little one, I thought it was perfect. It's metal, has a brass casing, a metal in the back. So wonderful vintage look. Cute little pin legs here at the bottom. So it kind of looks like a stopwatch with the top like this. And the numbers do glow. So that is always a bonus. Uh, when you are a collector of clocks, a lot of folks like the ones that have the glowing numbers. So I thought that was great. I picked this up for $6 and uh, I will bring this to a future sale. Uh, wonderful little piece. Now there is a lot of glitter on this, but um, it's underneath, it's inside of the clock. I think the best thing I picked up at the estate sale was this vintage mechanical pencil and pen set. And it had its original case. It is made by Parker. And I found an equivalent, an exact match to this that sold on eBay for over $200. And I picked up this little set for five. So this is something I will put on my Etsy shop and hopefully uh, be able to make a good profit on it. So this was my win, I think, for today. The little pen set from the 1950s. All right. That does it, everyone. Thanks so much for going thrifting with me today. I hope you enjoyed coming along. Until I see all of you in the next video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you have not yet. Take care of yourselves out there, and until I see you in the next video, bye for now.